Let me demonstrate how to fly offline missions with Aces High. It's really quite simple. Firing up the Aces High main menu brings up this clipboard, and the first thing you want to do is choose terrain. You'll choose a terrain in which you want to fly an available offline mission. If you've never done this before, I suggest you may start with the standard ND Isles terrain, which comes with every Say, with every installation of Aces High 2. You don't have to do anything to get ND Isles, so we'll highlight that one in the list and click OK. Then, we'll select Offline Practice. Aces High will start up and put you in the tower in the usual way. Now, at this point, I'm assuming you're familiar with the basics of Aces High, and you've got your computer and your controls mapped and running the way you like them. You know the basic commands to raise your landing gear, start and stop your engine, um, view, look around, left, right, up, down, etc. If you don't know that, you're not ready for offline practice, and you might take a look at the training movies available at techvideoreview.com slash flight sim movies. Look in the Aces High section under training, and you can learn all that stuff. But if you're ready, the next thing you're going to want to do, maximize, you want to have your clipboard ready, and down toward the bottom of your clipboard, there's an option that says practice missions. Click on practice missions. That will bring up a list of the missions available in your selected terrain and the flights available in that mission. If the mission you want to fly is not on the list, then you need to install it. So we'll do that before we go on here. I'm going to click Cancel and get all the way out of Aces High. We'll go to our browser and download a mission. So I'm um, minimizing Aces High. I'm going to fire up Microsoft's Internet Explorer, and we're going to go to Tech video review.com slash flight sim movies. This will give you an overview of flight simulation of uh, combat flight simulators, and there are an option of the descriptions of several of them, but the one we're interested in is Aces High. So I'm going to click on Aces High, and we'll scroll down past the description of Aces High into the option describing offline missions. I've published several offline missions here. The simplest one to go with, and the only one available in that ND Isles terrain, is the one labeled Peabody Simple, here at the bottom. So I'm clicking on Peabody Simple. We get a description of that, and at the bottom of that description, it lists the available versions of Aces High for that mission. I'm going to click on the newest version in October 2010, Aces High 2.21.x. Clicking there, I get instructions for how to install. It's really simple. All I have to do is right-click on this link to get the resource file. So right-click, and then the dialog says, Save Target As. I'm going to save that file in my uh, C colon, High Tech Creations, Aces High, Miss Res folder, Mission Resources. Now, my, my uh, browser is probably going to save it with the wrong name. It's gonna, it looks like it's going to save it as an HTML document, and that's not good. So I'll have to rename it. This is a common problem. If we don't fix that problem, it'll appear to be not available. Let me show you that. Here's what happens if you don't fix that problem. Different. Well, fire up Aces High, and then I'm going to go to Choose Terrain and make sure it's specified ND Isles, OK, and then Offline Practice. It takes me to the tower in the usual way, and that, from, from there, I'm going to select Practice Missions, and I still don't see anything, even though we know we put the mission there. That's what happens if your browser renames the mission resource file improperly. So I'm going to cancel my way out of this. We're going to fix that very common problem. I like to do that from a DOS prompt. So I'm going to go to Start, um, firing up a command prompt. I'm going to go to that directory, change directory slash um, high tech creations, dir, change directory aces high, ac star will do it, dir change directory to misres, dir, and there it is. Notice it named the file simple04.htm. I'm going to rename that 
simple o four dot htm to simple oops simple o four dot htm to simple o four dot res that should do it exiting out of here and firing a base is high again this time we should see that mission we're going to go offline practice it's still in the selected ND Isles terrain. I want to bring up the map, we should see that. And there's our ND Isles terrain. This time when I click practice missions, it should show up. Ah, it does. Two missions. We can fly Peabody Simple Bish or Peabody Simple Knight. Well, let's fly for the bishops first. I'm going to click on Peabody Simple Bish and then select the flight. The only available flight is Bishop P-38s. If there are several flights available in this mission, they'd be in a list here. But I'm going to click on the only available one. And here I go. That takes me to the briefing room where I hear a, a briefing of the mission. Gentlemen, today I will show you how I fly a very simple combat mission. We'll take off from our airfield, head immediately in the general direction toward the nearest enemy airfield, make one simple pass over the enemy area, then come on home. If we see enemy activity, we will engage them as we identify opportunities. After the briefing, we're placed in our cockpit. I'm going to start my engine, and we'll wait a while for the mission to launch the other aircraft into mission.